Okay, let's continue Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah. Been having fun playing New Leaf for the first time, as New Horizons was the first Animal Crossing game I played. Okay. But yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking as always. Um, what is this telling me? N no. <laughs> hey, would you like to enable advertisements from Nintendo? No. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> it gets pretty bad. Good morning, Mayor Will. In, oh yes, it's Monday, February 13th, and the current time is 10.47am because I've had to turn the clock back and not use my real time zone. Well then, shall we get started? Wonderful, let me get you set up. Yeah, after I got warned in-game that I should save the game constantly, uh, yeah, I've been doing that. That reminds me. I haven't had a chance to explain what your work as mayor entails, correct? When you find the moment, please come to the town hall and be sure to sit in the chair in the back. Okay. Who's sending me letters? I got three. Uh, the Happy Home Academy. Okay. This is them. Hey, congrats on the big win the other day. Take this as proof you had. All right, so I did win. Certificate. Wait, but there's an attachment. How do I see the attachment? What is this? From my mom. I can't help but be a bit nervous about your first solo journey. I'm sending you something to help you along. Don't worry. I'll try not to worry, mom. But... Okay, see, that's a little clunky. I couldn't get it because I, I was in the mailbox and not here. Okay, um... What is this? It's a... Oh, right. I can't play stuff outside anymore. It's one thing I'm getting used to. Just that I can't uh, decorate outside, but that's fine. To be honest, it eases the pressure off a little bit. I don't have to do what I did in Stardew, which is, like, make everything look nice, so... I'll make my house look nice over time, but for now, I mean, we basically live in a tent, so... Um, and I don't really have any room... So, I mean, I have food, and I, I need this space here, so I'll just put it away for now. I might display it later, but... Okay. Maybe today will be the day that I finally get a, a slingshot and I can get the presents in the sky and not uh, feel bad that I can't get them. I'm going to the store very first thing. My snowman's probably melted away as well by now, so I might be able to make a new one that, uh... Apparently you need to give it a big head, so I don't know. The one that I made just wouldn't be quiet about that. Oh, cherries are back. Yeah, uh... Snowman's gone. Alright. <sighs> also, the double video ads. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's just... I wish YouTube streaming was more popular and I can be like, hey guys, come on, let's just go to YouTube. But, you know, this is what we have to deal with until that day comes, if it ever does. Welcome to the HH Showcase of, oh yes! 
Are you here to take a look at our lovely model homes? Yeah. To begin, I'll need to know your name. Could you tell me... Oh, Mr. Will. Oh. That means you're the mayor of... Oh, yes, right? My sister has told me about you. Your secretary, Isabel, is actually my twin sister. I heard the stories I could tell you about her. She got in so much trouble when she was a pup. Eh, yeah, pardon me, I seem to have sidetracked our little conversation for a moment. Okay, now that I have your name, let me explain what the HH Showcase is all about. In our showcase, we have models of Happy Home Academy members' homes on display for all to enjoy. If you activate Street Pass, you can share your home with other HHA members. And in turn, you'll also get to see their homes, including all their lovely furniture and such. The signs that you're wearing or displaying in your home will be displayed as well. Please keep in mind, and that goes double for your TPC information. See, this is how they get you, chat. On the home screen, it's like, hey, enable Street Pass to enable Nintendo to send you uh, advertisements about services and games. So I said no. And then I get inside game, it's like, oh, by the way, to do this thing that is a pretty nice feature in the game, you're going to have to enable this thing that's also going to give you ads. Um, I mean, look, this is going to shut down anyway, so fine. And it won't, it's not like these are going to appear on stream. These appear like when I turn on my 3DS, which doesn't happen that often, so. You won't see it, don't worry. This just sounds like spyware. <laughs> It'll continue to run, no matter what you do. Okay, can I can I please just go here now? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's probably good that it's done that. Save the game. First of all, thank you for visiting the HH Showcase. Well, since this is your first time visiting us, I'd like to briefly explain about our space here. First of all, this is the entrance. There are three exhibition areas for you to view. One to the left, one to the right, and one in the back. You can reference the touchscreen for a detailed map. You're welcome to look around the model homes in the exhibition areas. Also, you can buy furniture in the model homes except for items that don't happen to be for sale. The only real downside is that the price does tend to be a little higher than in regular stores. But in return, you may up finding rare items you, don't ha you can't find in this town. If you find anything you like, please place your order in the model home. We'll deliver it to you later. Lastly, I've got one more important thing to tell you. If you see someone suspicious or find a model home that's not appropriate for public display, please ask the person to leave or go to the model home and request it be removed from the area. Once you've done that, we'll take care of the rest as soon as we can. Well, I believe that's all from me. I hope you enjoy your time in the HA Showcase. What do you mean, suspicious person? <laughs> what? And... Uh, are they talking about reporting someone? Because I would assume this takes real houses, right? Or is this just... I guess we'll see. Where are we? There's nothing here. <laughs> what am I looking at here? There's nothing here. There's flowers. But other than that, it's just... It's an empty lot. Okay. I'm gonna guess that, uh, yeah, this is not working. <laughs> just, just a hunch. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, this was, uh, 
Time well spent. Certainly don't regret enabling that straight pass or anything. Yeah, there's nothing here. What do you mean? This was just a scam to get me to enable straight pass. There's nothing here. You won't see me again. This is the last you'll see of me. To be fair, I think it's because no one's playing this anymore, but it's okay. Oh, there's like a, a kiwi. Is that a kiwi drum or a seat? Still no slingshot. A guitar. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. It's not like playing New Horizons where, of course, you can find people. But, you know, I wanted to see what this was about. I mean, maybe I'll still play a new file of New Horizons. As, as I'm capable of doing that. Without having to delete my old file. But not anytime soon. Wait. Paula, who's... So in this game, they just they just move in wherever they please, huh? I guess Paula's gonna be like all alone. So I guess I have no control over who my villagers are going to be, huh? That was an accident. Um, I need to go here. I guess that's fine. Listen, as long as no one moves directly in front of my house, because I claim that plot of land for myself, as long as they all stay clear of that nice area I have, then we're cool. As long as no one moves directly in front of my house, I'm content. I have prime real estate right now. Suppose let's check. Has my expensive hive sold? Or any of my, uh... Oh, hello there, welcome. Is any of my stuff sold? Yes, can I help you? Flea market? My hive hasn't sold yet, chat. No one wants to buy my expensive fossils or, like, quality beehive. Can I wake you up yet? Nope. One day we will wake you up. I just put them on sale for the price that it said right away. But how am I supposed to have a frame of reference of how much these things are supposed to cost? I guess I could go try and sell them. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, there's two of them right here. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna put a snowman here. This is perfect, they're like right next to each other, so I have minimal risk of messing this up. Just form it right next to the store, like... Have this grumpy snowman right next to that shop. I can get him to be my sales representative, he can just stand outside with one of those signs that you kind of rotate. And just be like, yo, sale over here. Quality 
quality nest and uh, fossils. We don't, I don't, I've never seen that before here in Australia. Having someone just like flipping signs, you know, spinning them around. I've never seen that before here. I guess it, it, it's because it would, if I, if I think about it, right, like that job would suck probably s half of the year, if not more. Because, I mean, in Melbourne, in winter it's just constantly raining. And then summer, I mean, Australian summer, need, need I say more. So that covers like half of the year in terms of how bad it is, and then the rest of it you're kind of rolling the dice a little. Okay, let me put this there. Should be fine. Alright, so now I just need to get this out of here without breaking it. Okay, so the comment I got from the snowman last time was his head wasn't big enough. Wanted more head. So I will make sure the snowman gets more head. Surely that's enough. Surely that's enough. That's like... Mega brain. Got a calm feeling. The ideal sense of balance I've been yearning for. Smart? What do you mean? What, what do you mean smart? Oh, because I said... Okay, look. <laughs> Give the snowman a head. But he describes it as head. That's fine. That's what's going on with his body right now. It's true. Snow perfection. Are you perhaps a well-known sculptor? I am indebted to you for creating me with such exquisite balance. I would like to repay you for your good work, but all I have is, is this bingo game. Oh, of course. How about a game of bingo? What? You say you are without a bingo card? Then I, Snowman, shall bestow upon you a bingo card. I should be drinking my tea as well. Hold on. I mean, look, it's not the worst thing to come out of the stream from an innuendo perspective, so... Ah, it would appear that you have too many things to carry. Ah, Alright. Why- what am I carrying? Oh, right. No auto stack. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Uh, I miss- I miss- I miss it. Here is the bingo card. I can only give you an answer, please do not lose it. Let's get this... Well then, shall we get the bingo game started? To kick things off, touch the center of the card to punch a hole in it. Okay. Well then. Snowman slot starts spinning. What? Oh, what the... Two. 21. The number of the day is 21. Oh, I get it. It's a daily card. A word of advice for a bingo seeker such as yourself. If you have a bingo card, you can play bingo anywhere. You'll be able to get bingo more quickly by traveling to other s towns with other snowmen. Go speak with them and get numbers from them. Do come again. Well, about that. About that. If I had been playing this game in its prime, then... You may have had a point, Mr. Snowman, but you see, I'm playing this... ...with less than, uh, 20 days to go before the 3DS service is shut down. So, you know... This is a cool thing, though. I... I guess this is what people were referring to when they said, like... New Leaf has more interesting stuff to do than New Horizons. I mean, decoration aside, right? Like, the decoration stuff in New Horizons is fantastic, but... This is a cool event. 
I mean, it certainly beats the first event I did in New Horizons, which was the Easter thing, and oh my god, that event. It was cool at first, but then when you wanted to go fishing or do anything, and then you kept getting those stupid eggs. Even after the fact that you had already finished the event, man. Hello, hello. Pretty morning, right? What's up? Keep this a secret, Will. I'm obsessed with fruit lately. All fruits. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Now you know the real me. I get friends here with fruit. Can you get me some? Okay. Real, I'm looking forward to it, Cannoli. Hi, Will. What's going on? I brought it. What? You found what I was hungry for, Cannoli? Fruit. Not the whole basket. <laughs> Thanks, but whoa, no. Okay, good. She only took one. Wow, that was totally generous. Where I really only wanted one piece of fruit, Cannoli. You just assumed that you were supposed to have the whole basket. I just presented you with a basket. And you, the glutton that you are, decided to assume all of them were for you. Like, it'd be like this. Let's say we're hanging out. I have a bag of chips, right? And I pass you the bag of chips. Now, are you going to go, oh, wow, thank you for the whole bag of chips? Or are you just going to take, like, a couple of chips? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to take my entire bag of chips? Why does she have a shovel? What are you doing? Why, why do you have a shovel? Why do you have a shovel? What do you think of my whole look today? Uh, cool? Cool, really? Awesome. I knew I could pull that off, Cannoli. Hold on. Wait a minute. I brought it? I've been looking forward to this, Cannoli. I can't eat this much. Thanks. Well, Cannoli. Oh, wait, so you didn't- you didn't even take one piece out of the basket. So do I really have to- to do this? Like, just present one? Okay, hang on. Yeah, it smells so yummy. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there, Will. I could eat a ton of these. But you just said you wanted one. You can't eat a ton. I presented you with a bunch and you said no. Liar! <laughs> I'm just... I'm just being facetious. Okay. That's cool. Um... Yeah, see, I'm not really going to wear another t-shirt, really, so... Hey, Frigga. Let's chat. I've been trying to catch a Warthroach, but I can't seem to manage it. I know they're fairly common, and it should be easy to get one, but I just can't do it. So I'm hoping you can. How about it, Will? Can you catch me a Warthroach? Sure. Oh, that's great! <laughs> I don't know what sound effect that should be. Brumph. I'm going to give this to someone else. Oh, right, you moved in. Hey, Will. I know this is kind of coming out of nowhere, but I was thinking, maybe it's time for me to try an image change, you know? So, uh, could you maybe think of a thoughtful breeding for me to use? Possibly. Alright, alright, that's my will. Let's get right to it. Chat, what should this squirrel's greeting be? While I sip on my tea. <laughs> A 
the greeting, but I guess I would need to know... It'd be nice to be able to see the context that it's going to be used in from a sentence perspective. Because that's the one thing I, I had problems with in uh, New Horizons, was like, I'd give them a word to say, and then it just didn't play out the way I wanted it to. It just it never worked. It just never worked. Hmm. How about... I don't want to be boring. <laughs> Hang on. No, oh, all right. Just seeing how many letters you can fit in. Okay, I was gonna go with like a very obscure Australian meme, but nah. Okay. Uh, in all seriousness. I'm just gonna go with the standard Australian. Oi! Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, louder. Oi! Am I doing it right? You got it. Oi! How about that? It's like I'm saying goodbye to the old me and hello to the new. I feel like I've been reborn. Thanks, Will. Let's see if he does it. <laughs> what happened to oi? What? What is that sound? <laughs> that red fellow set up shop in town today. His shop seems really suspicious, but from time to time, you can find really great deals. If you don't mind getting hers once in a while, why don't you check it out? <laughs> Where is he set up shop? I would imagine the dock. I wonder if they're in cahoots, because he's sending me to someone that's clearly a scam artist. Right, where have you set up shop, buddy? Or maybe it's just in the middle of town, because that's where the fishing thing was. I can, I can get that if I hurry. I can get that if I hurry. It's already gone up too high. I needed to get it as I was climbing the cliff. It's not fair. <laughs> Don't have a slingshot. This game is taunting me with presence like every 10 minutes that I can't get. This is it. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. Thank you for visiting my shop. Oh, could this be your first time here meeting all red? Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet fellow art lovers. This is Red's Gallery, where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy... A piece of famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. But first, oh, but of course, since these are all really rare items, we can only sell one item per customer. Why, you ask? 
because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. So come on in, don't be shy, look around all you want. <laughs> Whoa, I see you've got your eyes only for that neutral painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you too. I must say it's quite amazing. Between you and me, it's just selling for 3,920 bells. This time and this time only. What do you think? Do you want it? Oh, you can't even inspect this. Um. Okay. You're pulling my leg? What a shame. There's no guarantee you'll get another chance like this. No, sir. How can I tell, though? There's no way to tell, I guess. It's just... This is plot luck. Oh, am I mistaken? Because I see you're looking pretty close at that dynamic painting but right there. Well, I would be too if I were you. Art fanatics like us, we can spot a true gem my way. Maybe two. You're in luck, cuz. Nobody's got this one yet, so I'm still able to give you a bargain at 3,920. Um, I'm gonna look up how you can tell. Okay, just a sec. There has to be a way to tell, or is this, like, really just a one in four chance? Red... New Leaf. Let's see. Oh, there's like a... If Mount Fuji is in the background... ...and is incredibly large... ...it's a fake. Alright, so this is a fake. But see, some of these you can't... it's so hard to tell. Don't you hate it when the shop assistant follows you around and bothers you when you're browsing? Oh no, yeah, that is annoying. But, to be fair, the only time that happens is... Um, when people get commission, pretty much. I find when you go go somewhere where uh, commission isn't a thing, employees tend to avoid you. Okay. But how? I can't. I can't. Oh, wait. I th I'm forgetting an important detail. Ah, okay. That's how you do it. Okay, 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 okay. Now now we've got this. I was like, how can I tell? And then I forgot that this is a house, so I should be able to change the camera. Okay, if the bonnet is red, it's fake. So this is a fake. I can't tell what this one is. Uh, a normal painting. Neutral painting. If the leaf on the top left has a hole in it, it is fake. If the leaf is clean, it is genuine. I can't... I honestly can't tell. Oh, that's got a hole in it. Yeah, okay. Oh, that, this makes it so much harder. So is this one the genuine one? Vegetable person. This one. If the portrait's nose is made out of carrot and there are leaves hanging, it is fake. If the nose is made out of a green vegetable, it's genuine. Uh, that looks genuine to me. That looks like a green nose. Alright, this is the genuine one. Well, that's my fault, since I have no choice but to give in now. You found that this amazing piece. Truth be told, poor to heart, I'm selling it for an unbeatable price of 3920 Okay. It's mine. What a shock. Well, obviously you have to be as crazy as me to pass this up. Let me just get that sweet, sweet payment, and we'll be set. Okay, got it. We'll just mark this jolly painting as a sold item. Everyone else is out of luck. Don't worry. I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it to you as soon as the exhibit's over. But remember, if your mailbox is full, it won't get the lip. Wow. 
Okay, let's go empty our mailbox. Aha, cousin, I just know this work of art will find its true home now that you've decided to buy. I'll be sending your purchase off as soon as the ex exhibition is over, so keep watch for it. But see, isn't that a red flag in itself? You buy something, and then they're like, nah, 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 nah. We can't, you can't take it home with you now. What? No. I'll send it to you, don't worry. I promise this isn't a bait and switch. Oh, right. Yeah. Drop it. <laughs> Auto stack. What is this? Oh, the bingo card. Yeah. So, every time I've found one of these, I've placed it down and I keep falling for it myself. This is the time that I'm not going to fall for it, so. This is like a wily e. Coyote situation that I'm having happen to me. This is Lucky's house, right? Alright, so I want the dog that gets injured to get injured. And this time, I'm just going to stay away from this house. I'm gonna walk away, and I'm not coming near this house again. That's it. <laughs> I'm absolutely not falling into that thing. It's not gonna be a thing this time. to making money shortly. I mean, I guess I kind of am already. should be one more fossil somewhere. I just know not to check Lucky's uh, house, because that's the trap that I've set. Where is it? I hear it, it's taunting me. I mean, maybe... If it's nearby and goes off the cliff, I might be able to hit hit it with a net. I'm gonna look for this wharf roach. only took me like half of last stream to catch one so I'm sure I'll be able to get it
I won't bother fishing just yet. I think next time I play this, I'm gonna do uh, a night time. Like, maybe swap the time to be my actual time zone. Look around for this last fossil. That spot is nice if it wasn't for the rail tracks. It's not fun. <laughs> As a kid, we lived next to, like, the rail tracks, and man... And it was a, a line that, uh, like, freight trains can go past on as well, so... I mean, you get used to it, but yeah, it's not ideal. Sometimes you do get woken up. Okay, fingers crossed no duplicates this time. Last time I got really unlucky. And I haven't even been playing for that long. Also donating multiple. Ah, oh, I got a duplicate. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I found so many duplicates already. Also, my tea is gonna get like cold if I don't drink it now. So give me a, give me like thirty seconds. I feel like I always have to do that, like, the second half of my cup of tea is always just, alright, I gotta drink it all now. I guess I got another expensive fossil to try and go sell at retail. I think what I might do this time is, whatever the price is that they're recommending, I'm just gonna set it, like, a bit lower. Because none of my other items have sold. But first, gotta sell this stuff. Okay. All of this. What if I was to buy everything from retail and then take up all the display spots? Would that mean that the town is, would be forced to buy my expensive goods? <laughs> I might be onto something. Or I'll, I'll just run the, the place out of business. You know, that's... Oh wait, the bird. 
This year's festival is on next week. Okay. Oh, there's the results. I won. to say. Right, so instead of that, I'm gonna put it at... Let's just see what happens. <laughs> I practically have the whole dinosaur here. Yeah. I think that's its tail. This one. This is 200. It's vintage. It's a vintage one. Vintage. Okay, so. Wait. What was that? Ah, uh, did you put the Dimitrodon's tail for sale? I think I might want to buy it. Buy it! All right, you've convinced me. I'm gonna buy it. Excuse me, I'll take this, please. Okay. All right, since you're right here, I should just pay you directly. Here you go. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that glorious. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just ripped that dog off. Although, I guess he's... You know what? Trust the dog to buy the bones. I kind of feel bad that I've laid that trap out in front of his house. I mean, not a whole lot I can do about that now. <laughs> not a whole lot. Yeah, I forgot to say earlier, uh... I made a t-shirt of my oh yes emoji. It's it's better than I expected, so I'm happy to have it. <laughs> I have my uh, I have it as like a kind of like a gold color because it's that's Wario's color. But I had to recreate the graphic so I could printed on a t-shirt because the original graphic was like very tiny so I remade it a whole lot oh okay yes the pun I see and a whole lot of trouble so Will you know how I call you Will I think it's time I use a new nickname want me to come up with a new one Will like what? Let's see. I've got it. How about Sweetie? Sure. These are more normal than the ones in New Horizons. You can call me Sweetie, that's fine. The very- what was the one- it was like Backbeat? Stranger danger. It's okay. I, I don't need an adult. Because I am an adult. Oh. 
I, I got an initiative, I guess. What did I do? Local fruit initiative, or fish. Okay. I guess that hints that maybe it's available, or... I did it again! <laughs> or, or maybe it's not there at all. Figured out what this basket is for. sea bass <laughs> that what it did there i was like oh this is different it's doing something weird maybe it's a unique fish nope just a sea bass Another sea bass. Yeah. <laughs> Why should I expect any different? Oh, hello. Probably another sea bass, but let's try. What? No, come on, I was on time. That wasn't a sea bass, like if, if it's windows that tight. Calamari, hey. Salt and pepper calamari is delicious, I, I would take that. Dip that in some garlic aioli. Delicious. It has to be just right though, like, it, calamari is one of those things that's pretty easy to mess up. What? It's mostly bad. Oh no, I'm sorry. I mean, here, you can get good from different restaurants. Like, Greek restaurants can do good calamari, but also, like, where you go get fish and chips. And also Chinese restaurants, like, they do pretty good calamari, too. The ones from Chinese restaurants, though, can be very spicy, but I like that. I 
You used to live in Cyprus, that's where you got hooked on that. Oh, that would have been amazing. That would have been some quality stuff. And did you intend to use the pun there because it's seafood, you got hooked? Oh, look, a sea bass. No? Okay. It's another sea bass. I got three more. I hear it. Whilst it might not be as good as, like, some parts of the world, it's still above average and can be... can range from above average to excellent. Just... Kind of spoilt here in Melbourne. It's just like a, a massive melting pot of food. I think that's like a common misconception of Australia is just because we're a British colony. People assume that our food's like kind of the same, but it's really not. That's harsh. Hey, it's not me, like... I'm just stating my experiences. <laughs> British food is terrible. I mean... Isn't the national dish of, uh... The national dish isn't even, like, something that was... Invented there? Like, it's curry, right? I just love seeing the memes of, like, saying that, you know, the British are eating, like, as if planes were dropping bombs outside like it was a war. I'll say, hey, Gammy. What is this? Balloon sofa. I think we'll probably sell it. Do British drink warm beer? I, you know, the first time I saw that was in a a cartoon, um, Asterix. Crap. I've I've never really asked about it. Chicken tikka masala is the, uh, the official national dish. I mean, Australia is no different. Like, we don't really have... I guess... I, I mean, I guess you could argue, like, the meat pie is kind of there as the national thing. But, I mean, it's not like it's unique to us. It does exist elsewhere. We do have, I mean, I think the way to put it is, like, kangaroos and people eating them. That's pretty unique. We should totally make, like, a dish out of it. And then there's fairy bread. Like, that's a, that's a pretty Australian thing. Some beer is better at room temperature. Interesting. But it's not, it's not warm. It's not heated beer, I guess, is the point. Apparently, lots of people think Vegemite is disgusting. Well, that usually stems from one of two things. It's either, one, genuinely think it's disgusting, which, fair enough. I don't like it, personally, either. Or it's someone trying it like as if it's peanut butter and don't realize that like you're supposed to use it sparingly. Like only the smallest amount is supposed to go on bread, you know? So it's usually one of those two points of view.
You've never had beer that's heated, okay. Yeah, I, it's just something that's portrayed in media, uh, media that's like, warm beer. But I guess when you hear that, you think, oh, they've got beer that's like a hot beverage. But I mean, room temperature makes more sense. People say warm to mean it's not been chilled. Yeah. Now that I've heard that, that, that makes more sense, but I guess when you hear it for the first time, because English is a stupid language, there's a connotation of just like, oh, it's been heated. People are used to lager, which should be chilled. Yeah. I don't know if I've had room temperature beer before here. Can't say I have. I mean, with, that was like the selling point, I guess. But it's, it's not as random, I guess, now. That makes more sense. Put the beer in the microwave to heat it. Ugh, no. I mean, at a certain point, like, you, you, you have, like, a soup. It's not so popular. Old ales would be room temperature, right? I mean, I, I know a few people that are British and I've never really heard them talk about it, so... I haven't asked either, but I've definitely seen things where... I guess in, in movies or cartoon shows they just laugh about the fact that... You know, they go over to England or something and then they go into a pub and... They order a beer and then they spit it out because it's warm. So that's kind of why I thought it was something heated because it's like, oh, they're spitting it out because it's hot. That's not a thing, yeah, I imagine so. You tried kangaroo, it's bad. It's not bad, but sometimes it's chewy and dry. But maybe you overcooked it. Oh no, kangaroo is like very easy to mess up. Um, you should be aim- It's one of those things where if you don't like medium rare to medium, you should not be eating kangaroo because you will most likely mess it up and make it too chewy. But when done well, it is really good, and you can, I guess, have it as a substitute anywhere where you would do, like, a beef or a steak. But you can do tacos with it, the, the sausages. You can even, like, slice it nicely like it's, you know, a steak, and serve it with some typical steak sides. The first time I had it, I think I was eight years old. Uh, my dad went to, uh, like, a trade school for cooking. It wasn't a culinary school, but it was just, like, learning a trade. Uh, and, yeah, he was friends with an Aboriginal dude, and... They had invited us up to, like, rural New South Wales to go hang out. Um... I think to even get into this place, like, you needed permission, from what I remember, so... Went camping there for a while, and, uh... They served us dinner one night, me and my brother, and we're just sitting there. And to us, it just looked like a plate of beef and, uh, some veggies, right? 
And so you know, we start eating, and an old an old man was just watching us intently. Eat, and then waits for us to be about halfway done. And then he comes over to the table and he's like, Hey boys, you wanna know what you just ate? And we're like, what? And then he just goes, Skippy. And he was expecting us to be shocked, and we just kind of shrugged and just kept eating. And he, he laughed, he was just like, oh. Goes to my dad, I like you boys, and the other kid would have freaked out. All we knew that it tasted delicious, and it was pretty delicious, like they... It was a, it was a freshly hunted kangaroo, so you know, it was a, an experience for sure. But I've had it other times since, and it's always been good. But that was my first, uh, yeah, experience at eating kangaroo. I just love how mortified some people are when they learn that Australians eat kangaroos. And I guess that it's fair enough because it's like the equivalent of like if Americans ate bald eagles, like the kangaroo is on our coat of arms and a lot of people consider it a national animal, which it is. And uh, so the reason that is is because kangaroos are technically a pest. There's such a large population of them. So, you know, the, they do cull them. And the best way they do that is uh, to in encourage... Our government encourages that we do eat them. I mean, one, because they are a pest, but also two... They are more sustainable than cattle and will just survive anywhere. Like, you don't need to really do anything to... To kangaroos, they, they, they just exist. And they don't produce, like, methane like, uh... Cows do, or cattle. Like, certainly not to that extent, right? So, yeah. That's why, uh, they're eaten here. I don't know if they're farmed necessarily, but they're definitely hunted. And they're a good source of protein. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if one day, just for the sake of sustainability, like... Beef just becomes less of a thing here. But I mean, it's a pretty good substitute. You can also punch on with them. Yeah, let me just be crystal clear. Do not fight a kangaroo. No matter how much, like, movies or the joke from an Australian might- might happen. Go have- go look on Google, like, pictures of muscular kangaroos and they are- they are ripped. And they have a lot of stopping power. And their claws are- yeah, if you kind of go aggressive on one, they could probably rip you open. Like, they're not to be messed with. They're docile, they're not aggressive, but it's one of those things where if, like... You're trying to be funny, and go and box one. And it'll be like, oh, look at that thing, it's lazy, I'm gonna go be funny and go hit it. Listen, that thing is gonna mess you up so quickly. When you see them out and about, they're kind of just lazy, they just lie there. 
that it wouldn't look like the type to get all aggressive, but I mean, sometimes in the news you will see accidents that happen with people messing around with kangaroos. I feel like I've run into the rare fish at least twice, but I just haven't been able to catch it. You've seen a wallaby on the bushwalk, spotted you and jumped away so quickly. Oh, but I guess they're, they're a bit different because they're smaller. Now, out where I used to live before I moved to the city, just had to drive 20 minutes and then you'd be in kangaroo territory. So I've seen them up close, both at a, like, zoo-type environment and in the wild. I forgot how much money I'm aiming for, but I think it's like 30,000, something along those lines. Oh. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm going to go sell now. I'm not walking anywhere near Lucky's house. I'm not going to fall for my own trap a third time. I think definitely the best uh, meal with kangaroo was like having it prepared properly at a steakhouse. That was really, really great. Thoroughly enjoyed that. The sausages aren't bad either, like... They sell them in supermarkets as well. So it's not like a specialty thing that you need to go out of your way to get them, like... In your common supermarket, it'll be there. Now, one of them, they're, they're called Hanger Bangers. After, like, the British term, like, bangers. So you have Kanga Bangers and Mash. You're at your new place tonight, first night staying there, enjoy. Do you get the thing where, like, because you're at a new place, you don't sleep the first night just because different scenery? What? Why didn't that work? It just went straight under. I 
think that's a new one. I don't think I've donated that one. I may have caught it before, but I don't think I've donated it. I definitely caught it because I remember telling the story of, like, the elementary school, primary school principal that I had that banned the word chub. Because kids were being kids. You think that's why you're awake? You also realize this mattress is broken and sleeping, so you'll need to invest in a new one soon. Ah. Yeah, definitely sooner rather than later. You don't want to be sleeping on something uncomfortable, believe me. I slept on a fold-out couch for a year that, um... The mattress... Well, I guess the couch itself, like, it was a bit worn down. And one of the bars shifted, so when I would lie down on it, one of the bars would dig into my back, and... I thought, oh no, I, I guess I'd need to get used to this, it's just... Sleeping on the floor would be worse, and no, sleeping on the floor was absolutely better. So, after a while I just started sleeping on the floor. Like, your back is, uh, yeah. You'd be surprised how sensitive it is. This isn't, like, me as an old man, this is me as, like, a teenager. When I moved to the city, it was hard sleeping the first few nights because it was so loud. And where I lived, like, it was dead quiet. But then when I moved out of the previous place, like, what I made sure to do... I made sure to kind of, like, exhaust myself moving stuff and then try and sleep. And that seemed to work. You have neck problems, so you have to take care of it. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, like, I, I didn't purchase a mattress slash bed for the longest amount of time. It's like, you know, I moved out of home and I took the bed that I had when I was a teenager. I mean, it was a queen size, so it wasn't something small, right? But it was an old bed. It wasn't ideal. And I was like, whatever, a bed's a bed. And I kept that for like, I don't know, seven years, something like that. And it wasn't until I broke it and then got this new one and had to get a new one, I should say, <laughs> that I was like, oh, okay, no, I've, I've just completely failed in the, as an adult here. Like, I should have gotten a bed when I moved out of home, like something more significant. That along with, like, the desk I have. The desk and the chair. Like... I think the next thing I gotta get as, like, a real adult... I gotta get more stuff to cook with, because... I mean, the stuff I have is functional, but... I don't even have a good set of knives. I mean, they do the job, but, like, they're not... They're not great. Did the new one feel amazing? The new one was great, like... Just... First time lying down on it, it was like, oh, okay, no, I, I... I have failed as an adult. Oh, right, it wasn't fossil, so it's... We're just donating. Yeah, so I hadn't donated these. Alright, cool. And yeah, when it comes to chairs as well, um, don't get game- do, do not get gaming chairs. As someone that's gotten one, and had to use it for the context of work as well, right? Um, 
gaming chairs, most of them, not all of them, kind of come from just the same design, more or less, and they're not really made for, uh, for sitting, if that makes sense. Like, you can sit on them and you will you might feel comfortable, but if you have to be there in an extended amount of time, they're actually not great for you. So, I got a an office chair, an, an ergonomic one, and, oh man, ever since I've gotten it, I just I felt so much better. You need to get a standing desk, you sit way too much. Yeah, I got one recently, and definitely part of the whole thing where I'm trying to take get better care of myself as I get older. It has made a difference. And for me, it's just I have to take extra care because my job involves sitting at a computer, so, you know. And then my hobby does as well, huh. Okay, we've talked to her, that's all, that's it. Just making sure we talk to her at least once. Same, yeah. Do you know the thing that kind of, uh, made me make the change, like, imminently? So, apparently what you're supposed to be able to do, it doesn't matter, like, as, an, as a person, right? If you're in a healthy state, you're supposed to be able to lift either leg at about, I forgot the angle, but it, it's not 45, right? Because that's flexibility, but it's definitely above 30. And if you start feeling pressure between that point and 45, then it means you're not really stretching and sitting down that much. And like, it's going to cause, most likely cause problems later. And once you start standing up and stretching a bit more, and you start doing that exercise, you'll kind of see, like, a pretty big shift. So, that kind of... What got me onto, like... Finding a better chair and standing up more often. Um... Because I have a, a few doctor friends, and yeah, that's the thing they told me. There's also posture as well, which, uh, admittedly, I'm not the best at, but... Yeah, you should also be making sure you're sitting correctly. It's not so much a big deal if you're only spending like an hour sitting, but if it's a case where you, you're doing full-time work sitting down, and then you're also doing other stuff and also sitting down, then you should absolutely like get into the habit. I think that's one of the benefits of playing multiple games on stream is just... It's also me forcing myself to every couple of hours just... Take a small break, stand up, stretch, move, just so I'm not just sitting down. It's very minor, but ever since I've been... I guess more aware of it, I've definitely noticed that I've gotten better. Uh, oh, damn it. I thought it was incorrect. This analog stick. But yeah, Stanley does uh, are definitely a nice thing to invest in. They're not completely necessary, like... If your job allows it, just every second hour just standing up and walking around for like two to five minutes, it, it suffices. But a standing desk is, is definitely something that, if you put it to use, it's good. But I know some people that have gotten, gotten them and <laughs> don't really use them. Oh, I hate it when they do that. This is so much harder now because there's no vibration on the DS, it's just I have to I have to be ready. I I can't go with a cue. It's 
Every time I run into that fish, it just seems to do that. Definitely good to move and stretch, get the blood flowing every so often when gaming and watching TV. Yeah. I mean, the scary thing is we won't really know the long-term effects of, like, this sort of lifestyle, if that makes sense. Like, really, uh, well, okay. The generation that I'm in will be, like, basically the cautionary tale, if stuff were to happen that's bad. Because we're the ones that have, uh, will reach old age having grown up with the internet and computers. And having jobs where, like, you know, you sit down quite a bit. Jobs and hobbies, I should say, as well. To, I want to catch that rare fish, but I just get so unlucky every time. <laughs> every time it appears. It just does the thing where I have to reel in on the first bite. And because the window is so small to press the button, I, I just miss it. Okay, I mean, I'm still making the money. Getting closer to that goal. How much more do I have? Okay, four more slots. Probably just a sea bass. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Nah, that's a sea bass. I can tell because that was way too lenient. I didn't react quickly and it still caught it. That's a sea bass. I swear, sometimes it feels like it's... It's correct, and then the fish just goes under. If you had to choose which is healthy out of playing computer games or watching TV, you would pick video games because at least it's mentally stimulating. The TV is passive. Oh no, the studies that already show that. Like, um, gaming is, is better. But, I mean, there's also games that are kind of junk food. There's ones that encourage critical thinking, and then there's ones that don't. So, like, ones that involve problem solving generally are the ones that are better for you. Or ones where you have to think. But there are games that are kind of just, like, junk food. It's it's still better than just watching TV. 
because they don't help. And good for hand-eye coordination. It depends on the game. Like, let me put it this way. And this is coming from, like, not a first-hand experience, but more just an observation I've made based on kids that I know that I've seen grow up, right? There's a big difference between a kid that only plays something like Call of Duty and a kid that plays, like, games like Zelda. Particularly in the department of, like, problem solving and logic. And reading capability. This isn't a case of, like, one week having to pass before I get my slingshot. Because this is torture, just hearing the sound of the balloon hovering, and I, there's nothing I can do about it. Assuming there is a slingshot. Okay, you know what? What if I'm being an idiot, and I'm assuming there's a slingshot? Let me see. Slingshot, new leaf. Surely there is. Yeah, there is a slingshot, so I'm not going crazy. But when is it available? So apparently it's available from the store, but it's it's just random. <laughs> so <laughs> I still haven't gotten one. It's really sad. I've I've missed out on easily twenty presents now. Okay, well. Gonna try and sleep. Alright, no worries, Gammy. It's all good. Well, thanks for popping in either way. Have a good night, dude. Enjoy the new place. What time is it? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm still okay for a little bit longer. Especially since, uh, yeah, I, I don't plan to stream tomorrow, as tomorrow... I usually use Tuesdays as just like a, well, one, to kind of take a break, but two, I try to work on something for a little bit, whether that be like content or just something. It is Valentine's Day tomorrow, though, so... Not for most people, just... Thanks to the Australian time zone being that far ahead. Last year I did dating sims, so... I don't think I can do that again this year, because there's not... that many other ones that I'd be like, oh yeah, this could make up a stream. But I'll probably do, do it Wednesday. Wednesday for me, which would be still Tuesday. For most people. Or maybe if I want to, like, take a break for a couple of hours, I might go live and just do something. But, for the time being, just assume tomorrow's the night off. But, if, I, if I'm feeling it, I'll do something. I got no, I got no plans. 
Oh, I thought I got the other one. That's fine. It's not going to be the rare one anyway. Please don't scare the big one. Is that what 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 is that that it that it did there? It went for it and then it went around in a circle. I think it's still sea bass. Yep. <laughs> I do- uh, I know I sound like I have a broken record, but I do miss the rumble feature from the Switch version. Because with that you could tell what kind of fish you had. If it was a sea bass, it doesn't give you that much of a rumble, but the moment it's a rare fish... Yo, you know when you have a rare fish on the line. I'm just gonna ignore that in the background, <laughs> just pretend that it's not happening. No, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hear it. I've been waiting for four days now for the slingshot to be in the shop and it still hasn't appeared. I don't want to hear it. I've still got a bit to go before we fill. I still haven't run into the wharf roach either. I'm supposed to be catching it for someone. Ah, I got impatient. Come on, big fish. Where is big fish? I swear. 
Oh, okay, no, but that, that's fine. That, that was lenient. I got it. I was ready. Ah. I might try... If I see a big shadow, what I might try doing... Is just taking off my headphones temporarily. Because I think there's just ever so slightly... A little bit of a delay because the audio from the 3DS has to go into the computer and then come back into my headphones. And I feel like sometimes, even though I feel like I've, I've been very quick to reacting, it's still not good enough. And I think that might be why. How much space do I have left? One more. Okay. I'll try and find a big one. headphones off. I'll mute my mic so then you don't hear the feedback of the audio. Okay, is is it is it no coincidence that the moment I did this first try first try I, I catch the rare fish? <laughs> yeah, I mean there's there's an audio delay. I think for all the the big ones, the rare ones, I'm gonna have to do that. But okay. That that kinda proves it. It might be confirmation bias. But I mean, how many attempts have I made? And this... That fish is huge. It's probably not the biggest one, like if... Most of the ones from New Horizons are in this one, there's, there's bigger ones than that. Unfortunately, I can't sell it, despite it being worth a lot. I have to donate it first. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Yeah, I think anything that involves a sound cure, I'm gonna have to just... Oh, you know what? Another. Oh, I know another option. But that might be insanely loud. Hang on, will that work? Alright, hold on. Let me try something. Stand by, chat. I just thought of something. Okay, I have a cable. These headphones can be used in cable mode. So, let's see if I go directly into the DS. Okay, and then volume. 
Oh, it works. Okay, this might be this might be an alternative here. I mean, I can't hear computer audio, but that's fine. I think this is a worthy solution. Oh wait, can you still hear the game? Does it does it take away the audio from you, chat? Or can you still hear, hear the game? That would suck if it took away the audio, because <laughs> this is... This would fix the whole latency thing. You can hear? Alright, cool. Excellent, then... It's capturing and sending the audio, because that's one thing that sometimes happens is... It'll pick to output only on the headphones and not whatever the output is. But I guess because this is like... A, not really an official way to capture games, like this is a modified DS. I guess this is a- this is good they thought of that. Alright, cool, we got a solution to this then. I miss when he would tell like a different story per object. Okay. No, we're good. Let's see if- I wanna see it in here. I, st I still think this museum looks nice, but it does give me a new appreciation for the one in New Horizons, just because of the extra level of attention to detail. I guess since I'm going more cinematic here... Wait, wrong one. This one. So we can see it... close. There it is. <laughs> Oh, hold on, there's something... There we go. So now that it's doing this... Oh yeah. With their appealing flavor, horse mackerel have long been a cheap and common food source. However, in certain regions, they have actually been branded as something of a luxury fish. They have tough scales on both sides of their bodies that must be removed before preparing. Though small, they are formidable carnivores since they go after bait they are popular with fishes. Okay. What's the ore fish though? Ore fish are deep sea dwelling fish with long thin silver bodies and one red fin lining their backs. They can reach lengths of over 10 yards, which means nothing to me since the metric system is superior, making them huge and striking fish. They usually swim by twisting their long, thin bodies, but they can also swim in more vertical positions. Their mouths are small compared to their bodies, and they have no teeth, so they're large but not imposing. Okay. Looks like things are going well. Ah, uh, they are, yeah. A yard is just a sad meter. Okay, good to know. How's it going, Mama Bear? Uh, yeah, I managed to catch that thing when... I muted my mic and just put the volume up on the DS so I could hear the audio. There's definitely a delay between the audio going into the computer and then back to my headphones, but now I've plugged my headphones directly into the DS. And it's allowed, so that's great. I'm gonna go back to this layout. As the bottom screen's not really doing much at the moment. Have I sold? No, okay. We'll go sell. I mean, I'm getting there. I want to sell. Wait, not that. That's my mask if I ever get injured. I mean, a couple more trips and I'll get the 30,000.
Hey, yeah, yeah, no thanks for the raid. How's it going? Wait, you're up early? It's not your usual time. Or were you just up all night? You stream for 10 hours. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Just about four hours longer. Yeah, I mean, that that is quite a bit. for me. <laughs> Already here, right? Yeah. I love that it highlights you as a raider. Oh uh, yeah, I guess while I have this, I should go see what uh, Harv has today. I think that's the only thing I haven't checked on. I mean, I probably... Oh no, but it costs coupons, not money, so I guess it's fine. It's a... flower and a teapot. Mmm, eh. I can't say there's anything there that I'm thinking... Oh yeah, no, that's a no-brainer for the house later. Uh, I, I forgot Isabel wanted me to go visit her, so I'll go do that. But also, like, I can make a payment to the house. No, go in, don't... <laughs> don't try to fish. Okay. Oh, Mayor Will. Have you settled in and finished unpacking? Well done. Wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him into my room just for this reason. Ahem. Right. I was going to tell you... ...about the town hall. Sorry, I swapped to this camera. For starters right now, I'm standing at the service counter. This is the information hub of all- Yes! I provide a variety of services at the service counter, such as giving people advice for living in town. I also listen to requests to change the town tune and flag, and I report on citizen satisfaction. However, to get advice or provide input, you, you'll need to stand at the counter. Just, oh, you need to stand at the counter just like everyone else. Where you're standing now is perfect, actually. Now then, moving on to your responsibilities as Mayo. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you can start laying out your vision for all, oh, yes, you'll need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Okay. You know, I just love your can-do attitude, Mayor Will. Now then, there's a very special chair in the back of this room that's reserved for the mayor. That's you. When you need to work on official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Looks pretty empty to me. What is this photo of t the turtle? And a fossil? Hi, Mayor Will. Let me guess, you'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. Well then, let me explain the prerequisites for the permit. The first requirement is that you own a house in town. Alright. Check. Since you already own a house, you're all set there. Okay, the second requirement for the town development permit is to gain the approval of citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey townsfolk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. Now, according to the preliminary survey, 
Your current approval rating is 37%. Oh no. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Isabel, I have uh, just, just one question before we continue. If I was to hypothetically say, uh, lay a trap in front of one of the, uh, the houses of my villagers, would, would they happen to get angry? Like, hypothetically, if I don't know, they were to step outside their house and then the earth would swallow them whole, would that, uh, maybe not look good in the polls? Um, is that something I need to turn to, Isabel? <laughs> the law requires that applicants have a 100% approval rating. So let's get to that goal. Talk to me from your mayor's chair anytime you want to know what your approval rating is. I can also give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. That's all there is to it. Good luck, Mayor Will. <laughs> Got work to do. All good, Mom. They're all good. I'm only going to be streaming for a little bit longer anyway. As it is late for me and I have uh, work tomorrow. So, yeah, maybe putting a pit outside Lucky's house wasn't the best call. Um, oh yeah, the town flag. No, we have to do this, at least. Oh. Okay, um. I have to draw it first. Redesign. Um, alright. Just a sec. I'll get the screen up so you can see. There we go. Wait, how do you do it? Oh, you can do that. That's kind of neat. But no, that's not what I wanted. Um, that's what we want. Okay, that's what we want. So, I pick the color. Then do this. I'm going rough here. Um... So, okay. okay, that's that. I do appreciate the corner guides. Okay, there we go. Now... I should have done- uh, no, I got it- I got it correct, I got it correct. Okay. Okay, now... I thought I did something wrong, but I haven't. There we go, inverse. Although I guess the way that I did it initially... I think I just- no. I'm doing the wrong thing. I think I just need to do this, just draw it. Okay. I suppose this one's, like, a little different now. It's more... Which one's closer? Probably this one. Okay. Sorry, chat. Ugh. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> It's a little awkward. I probably should have put the DS down. I'm kind of doing this in... in the air. I mean, it's always gonna do weird smoothing on the texture anyway, so like, it's a losing battle. I'll just uh, oh that, that it looks horrendous in the t-shirt, but just don't don't pay attention to the t-shirt. <laughs> oh, 
I wish I could offset it. I don't know if I can offset it. If I could offset it a little bit, it would be done, but... I think I'm just gonna have to... Make it longer without messing it up. Alright. And I think I'm gonna have to redraw it. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna try my hardest not to spend too much time on this. Okay, try again. Can I do thickness on this tool or not? Nah? Oh no, there. Okay. Let's see, that's better. And then... Okay, see, so that's easier. So I can just do, like, one... <laughs> I'll get it. Still not as thick as I wanted it to, but... Yeah, that's closer. No, see, so that's gone now. I mean, honestly, I don't think I'm going to get much better than that. I know it seems weird, but... Like, this was never going to be super accurate. <laughs> it's, I need to... I need to extend it downwards a little. Okay, um, that disappears, and then that disappears. Oh, man. <laughs> Making it worse. Ah, oh, this one level of undo. I'm gonna drive people insane if I don't just finish this. Wait, wrong, wrong color, wrong color. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's as good as it's gonna get. You know what? When it's small like that, it doesn't look too bad. It could be worse. I think the one that I did in uh, in New Horizons is better. And I did that with with an analog stick. <laughs> I don't I don't know how the one in New Horizons came out so well, but I did spend like forty minutes on it. Um. Okay, hang on. Now this I can definitely look up. Just a sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up, because people thankfully have done these. Um. Alright, just a sec. I'm looking up town themes for Warrior. People have thankfully noted these down so I don't have to. It's 
gonna see if I can find a warrior one, but otherwise I'll just I'll just go with what I had in uh in New Horizons. Oh no, okay. This this is the one. All right, this is gonna be the one I'm gonna take. Uh, town tune. Okay, check this out. Oh, I need the stylus. Okay, hang on. How do I make it? Oh, you move it down. Okay. You won't know what it is until you hear it, so this is the best part. I'm just gonna make it. What? Oh, I see it's here. Okay. Wait, what? Is this right? I'm gonna guess it's that. Okay, and then... Okay. <laughs> I think... Okay, hold on. No, it needs to be... No, that's too high. It didn't sound right. Yeah, that's more or less correct. In lieu of, like, finding one about Warrior Land, I'm gonna use this one for the time being. <laughs> yeah, it works. What a wonderful theme. It's like music to my ears, literally. I'm sure this will be a big hit with the town folk. We'll start using it right away. Okay. Sorted. Now, I, I want to see how the flag looks. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, when it's in motion, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's fine. Alright, cool. Now I just have to raise my approval rating. Oh, yeah, I'm not falling for that. That's the trap that I laid. I know what that is. It might make my approval rating fall, but, I mean... I'm willing to fall on that grenade, for the time being. Okay, back to fish. See how much of a difference headphones are going to make with fishing. I mean, being directly into the DS as opposed to what I had before. It does sound better. It's the very first thing I noticed, but also just the latency is not there.
If I manage to catch another aura fish, then that's how I'll know that this is better. So wait a minute. I think I can figure out how many of the villagers like me. Yeah, so there's six houses. And my approval rating is 33, which means two of them. Two of them like me, the rest don't. Well, it's not that they don't like me, it's just... I haven't gained their approval. I guess I have to make more of an effort to talk to them. Do I know which ones? No. I think it's anonymous. I mean, maybe there's a way that, can, that you can know. Oh, you know what? Yes, there, well, if it's the same as New Horizons, um, the fortune teller cat will be able to tell you. I, and I, I mean, like, that's her name, but she's also a cat. The clock is doing funky town. Really? What? They don't do this in, in New Horizons, just like, touch it once and then go away. They changed their mind. We can send some people around. Yes, yes, go spy. Oh, hello. Okay, here's here's the test. No, okay, I have to let this one go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, you can go. I'm not I'm not interested in you. This is the one. No. Nah. That was like, I reacted too slow. I thought I was going to do one more. But that did feel better. Like, okay, like that, that was perfect reaction. I think I'll definitely stick to wired audio. And I'm playing this. It makes no difference to you because there's no delay. But for me, listening to the audio back and having to press a button like in, in a window that's less than a second definitely makes a difference.
Okay, patience, just wait, wait for it to turn around. Okay, now we go. Ah! Oh, I flinched. How much space do I have? I was never good at fishing anyway to begin with. Yeah, because of that, like I'm just impatient. I always think, oh no, oh no, three, three is like the most I can do. Oh yeah, see, all right, we gotta go sell anyway. Uh, I caught the wharf roach, now I need to find who it was for. Oh, I can't put it away, really? I think it was Frida, from memory. It's definitely not lucky, so I'm not going anywhere near his house. That's Vesta. I don't think it was Vesta's house. That's Flip. It wasn't Flip. I haven't seen Flip today, though. I should talk to him. Oh, you're both here. <laughs> Are you okay? You look a little tired. What is, what is that thing you have in the background, Flip? It's always good to take a break if you've been playing well. No, what, what is this thing? Hold on, what is this thing? I demand to know what this thing is. That almost looks like Warrior's face. Vesta, please. Stop it! I just want to- I just want to touch the thing that looks like Wario's face. Hey, what's up, Will? Vesta is here too. Looks like we got a full house, Rerack. I just wanted to see what's the latest. Check it out, bro. These clothes are easy to move around in. Athletes really should stick to sporty clothes like this. What is that sound it's making? Okay, can I- can I please leave? Thank you. <laughs> Just... I love that they're all playing Funky Town. Oi! So you wanted to talk to me? Oh yes, has a lot of events throughout the year. I complain about there being too many, but when nothing, when there's nothing going on, it just feels weird. Ain't that always the way? Gah! All right. It's, that, it's not static. Frigga. I saw- I said Frida, not Frigga. My bad. Frigga. And the card is out somewhere. I'm not sure where they could be. I wonder if the bottom screen will reveal anything. 
Oh, that's sharing. No. I'm good. I thought it was, like, enlarge or something. There's no stalker device, so I don't know where they are. Uh, I'm gonna go check the, the store. Sometimes they're in there. Wait, did I see...? No. Okay, thought I saw a fossil spot. Sleep, huh? What if he wakes up at night? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out. One of these days I will play with my real time zone. Hmm. Where could they be? Okay, just checking that they weren't at her house. I haven't seen either of them. Oh, there you are. Aren't you busy, sweetie? So what did you want, sweetie? Uh, I've got a bug. There you go. You caught the insect I wanted? That's nice, sweetie. I should give you something, of course. It's a grass tea. Thanks for your help, sweetie. Okay. I mean, if that doesn't improve my approval rating, I don't know what does. <laughs> I looked. I've already been playing this for two and a half hours. I don't know how it happens. So quickly. No, no, no. I just want to talk to you to sell. to this layout. How much money do I have now? I have 30,000, but I don't think that's what I was required. I'll go to Town Hall and see what's up. where they had the machine? No? Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe... I need to go see. Where was the repayments made? This is just a train station. I'm just gonna go see. Hmm. Yeah, this is if I want to visit someone. <sighs> I'll just go there. <laughs> I'll just go to the happy home thing.
I think I need... Who are you? Welcome, welcome. Yes, Will, you have the most excellent sense of timing. Allow me to introduce you to someone. This is the Happy Home Academy's special advisor, Lyle. He's going to start coming out here on a daily basis to offer advice on the building of wonderful homes. Hey you, nice to meet ya. Me? Like, like the raccoon said. I'm Lyle. The Happy Home Academy. I'm the oh yes area manager. Bang, right? You're the mayor? Of this burg? Lucky me. You got a house in all yes? Congrats. You're good people. Here's the deal, the skinny. Happy Room Academy was just rooms. Now, not just one room. No, we went big. Bang, we do the whole house. We research day and night. We're the experts. Here's the truth. Happy homes make happy people. It's a big step for us. Brave new world. New ball game. We're ready. We're the Happy Home Academy. This here, Nook, Home, Nook Homes created the space just for Lyle. Bang. Why me? You? Opportunity? Business? Basics? Right here? Right now? Oh, members only. You want to talk, Will? You know where to find me. Come find me. Bang. Well, you heard what he said, hmm? If you have any questions about putting rooms together, you should ask Lyle for advice. Yes, yes. I heard what he said, but I don't understand a word of anything he said. You can pay your loans at Bell Point in the post office. Alright, thank you. That's the part I forgot. I think I was associating it with New Horizons where you go pay. Ah, yeah. This is what I was looking for. Almost there. That, that, that. Okay, I'll go fish for a little more. But that's uh that's a large amount gone. Wait, did I hold on, did I sell fish? I think I did, yeah. It's late, so I'm like a little bit absent minded. Okay, there we go. What are you doing with the shovel? Anakati, what are you doing? I think my greeting is severely lacking in sparkle. Can you give me a peppier one, Will? Sure. Go for it. I added an extra ya. Yeah. No fish? What is this? That was quick.
why, why, why do you do that? Why? Oh, there's two of them. Okay, this one's probably the good one. It's hard to tell. Why, why do they do that? <laughs> why do they do that? The faking out is real. <sighs> Wasn't quick enough. That's so annoying. <laughs> this is just a... Uh, a common fish. Yeah. Sea bass. Come on. Right now I'm more interested in making money. So I'm just gonna catch fish as quick as I can. Down. Yeah, probably not in a good spot. Oh, come on. What is this? Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I heard wrong. Can you please... Please stop doing that. <laughs> what is that fake out? Ah, I'm flinching. Get back here. Another sea bass. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's money. Either way. out. Oh, these fish. Hmm. 
And I want to say I'm doing better with fishing now, but I don't know. Accidentally make that one go away. I've noticed there's no fish at the pier, though. It's a bit weird. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Another sea bass. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. Wow. Okay, I got something to go donate. I guess I shouldn't give up on the little shadows, huh? more but I guess I'm kind of assuming this works like New Horizons where certain bugs will appear near the trash I think I'm happy with that I'm not happy about that balloon I'm just good just out of sight out of mind hopefully next time I play this I will be able to purchase the slingshot at last No guarantee. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a donation. I'll try and find Wario's theme, but we'll see. I don't mind Funky Town being the town theme. chat that's gonna do it for me i have to wrap things up as i do need to get some rest because i have work tomorrow but i want to thank you for uh watching and tuning in as always 
Particularly if you're new to the stream. Uh, while I'm away, you can find me elsewhere on the internet. In particular YouTube, if you just search for the channel name over there, you'll find past streams, highlights, all that other stuff, so. Hope you do check it out, just go have a look at the playlists area and you'll find playthroughs that you'll enjoy, I'm sure. Uh, I don't plan to stream tomorrow, but it is Valentine's Day and I usually do something. Um, so, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. If you don't see me tomorrow, there'll, there'll be a stream the day after and we'll do whatever leftover Valentine's Day plan I had. So, we'll play more of this as well. That's the plan for the time being. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video as always. Alright, I'm gonna go get some rest, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you in a couple days if you don't see me tomorrow.